All right. Let's go back to Ascot. Okay. This is where the offices moved to afterwards. You can see at the top the Agagen Enterprises Incorporated building right here. So when you say that there could never be another Ascot, not because someone can't buy a piece of property and build on it, because they'd never allow, the, the city of Los Angeles would never, or any major city would never allow a racetrack to be built in the middle of its proper area. Um, they just wouldn't be able to get a, a release. There, you know, there's too many people too close. So um, it, it'll never happen again. Ascot was here before the area was developed around it. And that's why Ascot was here. Ascot was here in 57. There was nothing around here. There, was, there were very few houses. And in those days, it didn't matter if there were houses around. We're building a racetrack. We're going to go racing. It didn't matter. Nowadays, it's quite different, as you, as you know. So, no, there will never be another Ascot. It'll never happen again. I don't know any city that would ever allow a racetrack to be built in the middle of, <laughs> in the, middle of the city. Um, with with housing all around it, with race with uh, freeways all around it, it just never will happen. And uh, and I'll leave you. And I I mentioned this earlier. On all, we we were very well known the racetrack. We did a lot of radio commercials, and and we were as well known as any racetrack in the country nationally. A small half mile dirt oval in Gardena, we were that well known nationally, and we bought a lot of commercial in fact right over my right over my shoulder here is is ascot we're here again so um we used to invite people to come out to the races and we'd do it at the end of the track end of the commercial and we would tell them what's going on we would let them know that um, we were having sprint cars this weekend and we would invite the people to come out to ascot in gardena where the harbor the san diego and the 91 freeways explode and that would be the tag on every one of the commercials and we would say that the freeways melted down. We would say that they'd explode. We'd say that's where the freeways would collide. But bottom line is that catchphrase right there was used here in the LA market and was as well known or better known than, than any other racing track of its time during that era. And it was my pleasure to do that tagline on all the commercials. And we'd do hundreds and hundreds of radio and television commercials. We'd, uh, we'd probably knock out five or six or eight of them every week, change it and let you know what was going on. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of Ascot. I enjoyed showing you around. Thanks, JC.